After months of protests and rising gun violence, the NYPD takes the first steps to try to reinvent itself. And the plan is to start with community forums. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us live from the West Side with more on this. Marsha? Well, Christine and, and Maurice, four months ago, Governor Cuomo ordered every police department in the state to restore trust in law enforcement or lose state aid. Today, the NYPD began trying to comply. What a shame it would be if we didn't take every advantage of the unique point in time right now to get it right, Marsha. Police Commissioner Dermot Che announcing a new effort by the NYPD to reimagine itself, get community input to help restore trust in the men and women whose job it is to keep the city safe. Granted, he has to do it. Governor Cuomo threatened to withhold state aid from any police department in the state that fails to fix itself. Commissioner Che claimed he was excited by the prospect. I'm not really sure what that means, but I can tell you some things. It's about listening. It's about working with the community. We can do better. The NYPD is joining with the Urban League, the Robin Hood Foundation, and the Federation of Protestant Welfare Agencies to make the NYPD a fairer agency. It's an outgrowth of the anti-police demonstrations that have rocked the city. We certainly don't know everything in the NYPD. Um, I think we get a lot of things right, but I think truthfully you have to recognize too that sometimes you get things wrong. Step one is a series of eight community forums in the next two weeks, starting on Staten Island. Staten Island chosen because of the Eric Garner chokehold case. There were pointed questions about community skepticism and whether they think the NYPD is committed to change. We are New Yorkers and we move with skepticism. Skepticism in this moment can be otherwise thought of as being engaged in critical thought. Like many of you, I was also skeptical. New York is an old city, and so is our police department. NYPD has experienced its share of task forces, but at the Urban League, we believe that this role presents a unique opportunity to influence the future of policing in New York City. Now, the police unions were not included in these plans, which irritated PBA President Patrick Lynch. He said more meetings and forums are not the answer and suggested that officials come and talk to police and community members on the street. Reporting live from the West Side, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marcia, thank you.